They're tracking how Hurricane Matthew could affect your travel plans heading into the weekend. Erica Fly has you covered from the live desk tonight. Melissa, almost 3,000 flights have been canceled to the East Coast, 1,500 today and another 1,300 tomorrow. Now that includes dozens of flights at Indianapolis International Airport. Here's a live look as we track flights from the airport. As you can see, almost everything is going normally tonight. That one canceled flight you see to Orlando. And now American, United, Southwest, and Spirit Airlines are following, are allowing travelers to change their trips with no fee, while Delta is giving out refunds for flights canceled or delayed over 90 minutes. And as you get ready to travel the next couple of days, you're being asked to check your flight status before heading to the airport. The major theme parks in Florida, Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, and SeaWorld, well, they say they will all be closed until Hurricane Matthew passes. Melissa, back to you. All right, Erica, thank you. Kevin, you and I have been talking about Matthew. Much of my family in South Florida, residents at home have a lot of family in Florida all the way up to the Carolinas, so what can we expect? And I think other than travel uh, impacts like that, there's emotional impact because yeah. right? we know people in the area concerned about that. Let me just show you the latest information here. This still looks like it'll be a Category 4, so winds of 130 to 155 miles per hour as it comes along the east coast of Florida and then curls. Once it gets to uh, South Carolina, curls back but weakens and comes back toward the coastline once again. Let's give you details, show you where the center of circulation is right now, just to the south of Freeport in the Bahamas. This is east of West Palm and Fort Lauderdale. Now I'll give you a closer view and take us through what will be a very long night for residents of Florida. 7 p.m. center of circulation southeast of West Palm Beach. Between West Palm Beach and Daytona is where the wind will be the strongest. You can see through Melbourne, Fort Pierce. This is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then once it gets north of Daytona, weakens a bit as it comes to Jacksonville, but major storm surge and issues with flooding and still a strong hurricane at that point, but the winds will have weakened somewhat. So the next 24 hours will really tell the story of the impact on Florida.